I'm going to show you why our community is so jacked up. See those two kids right there? Two young kids. Young kids, early 20s. That one right there that walked around the, the uh Those kids is probably 18 years old. This kid here is probably 18. This was probably, yeah, maybe 20-something. Two young kids. Young kids, early 20s. That one right there that walked around the, the, uh, the bends, him right there. He owns this. He's 20-something years old. He's like 24, right? Tire shop. Owns this tire shop. This is where I come when I need tire, right? Young kid, right? All right, now look over here. See those right there? Black kids hanging out on the corner underneath a tree doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, man. But these black kids are, aren't capable of doing this, though. That's the thing that, that this guy doesn't want to... He. I don't think we could... I think that's the difference between this channel and other channels, man. Like a guy like this, he means well, but he doesn't understand that these guys are doing, this is an expression of DNA. These people had great societies, man, even though they had, you know, sacrifices, human sacrifices, and all that stuff. They still built great societies. They, 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 they were great builders. Aztec, Inca, and Maya. Innovations and inventions. They knew how to manipulate their land. And that's why when you go to any construction site, man, I don't care what city you're in, even in my city. Every construction site is a bunch of um, on burritos. This is an expression of DNA. And so is this. These are two expressions of DNA. These guys doing this, they're going, let's just, let's, let's just remember that Humans want to do just a few things aside from all the other bullshit. But the basic things humans want to do is reproduce. In order to reproduce, you have to be, you have to um, attract a mate. You have to show that you're fit amongst the other males. You're suitable to be chosen by a fertile female from your species. Now, a fertile female from these guys' species, listen, a fertile female from these guys' species, this is these guys have status, man. Press one. These guys have status within their community, man. These guys have status in their community. These guys are somebodies. Listen to the rap music. This is who the rappers brag about being. Standing on the corner, slanging and being in the hood. When rich blacks make music videos, they come back to the hood and shoot the video and then go back to their gated community. These guys have status. These guys are not. These guys will have more kids than this guy. Whatever this guy's doing in life, these guys, these guys will reproduce way more than he will. These guys will reproduce way more than he will.
salute the platinum pig. He says, um, Britos do support each other. I will give them that. Yeah. I mean, it's just a having worked at Home Depot for eight years and having, you know, met a lot of Spanish guys, man. Work a lot. I still got their numbers in my phone. All the contractors. Haven't seen them, man, up close for all these years, working in lumber and building material. Seeing their work ethic, man. They don't need to work together. One of them is fine, man. One of them will do the job. One of them will do the job. They're worker bees, man. These people are worker bees. They can't help it. They can't help it. They can't help it. They couldn't not do this if they tried. And this attracts mates in there. This attracts mates. Their, fe their females look at this as status. On Brito females see this and they see status, man. They see a viable mate, somebody they want to reproduce with. When sisters see this, they see the same thing. And it doesn't matter. And, and, and also living in Washington, D.C. has also given me a unique perspective. Because Washington, D.C., all that shit about Black people struggling and black people can't get jobs and black people, all that fake Jim Crow bullshit these niggas talk, that's not the case in D.C. In D.C., black women been having good jobs for eons. And niggas in the hood been trying to bag them a black woman with a good job for eons. First thing a nigga gonna say, man, Shorty got a good job, man. I see, you know how many chicks I know work downtown DC in office buildings or in political buildings, political related buildings, and dating a guy like this. These niggas, let me break it down to you even further. These niggas got one of them chicks' car. Like, he got to hurry up and pick her up. If it's 5 o'clock. Oh, shit. It's 445. I got to hurry up. Hey, y'all, I'm going to see y'all later, man. I got to go pick up my girl at her job. He got her car. Press 1. He got her car while she at work. Press 1. So you gotta you gotta be careful talking shit about these guys, man. These guys are producers, man. These guys are reproducers, man. They're doing very well. For for what they put out, they get back. Cause remember, These guys are working hard. They're putting a lot of out, right? They they bought the building or they're leasing the building. They're paying a rent for the building every week. They're um taking inventory and stock of all the tires and shit. They got to have a certain amount of tires and which ones they're going to have and all this shit and how would different types of tires somebody comes in and somebody needs this tire somebody comes in and they need this tire they gotta get this tire out then they gotta put it on the car 
Then they got a fucking... Make the transaction. They're putting a lot in. These guys, they're not putting nothing in, and they're getting a lot out. These guys are putting... Now, these guys are putting their lives on the line because at any moment, a, not a bunch of other sun men can come by and just spray this crowd and kill a bunch of these guys. So these guys are putting their lives on the line, but as far as they're getting, they're actually winning. These guys are actually winning because they're they're not putting as much into, into it as these guys. These guys are working fucking hard. These guys are tired at the end of the day. That's why I always I always hesitate to, you know, shit on Sun Men, you know what I'm saying? Like in, in that respect, because I know that yo, they're winning. A lot of times they're winning, man. <laughs> 